Hello again folks, uh, I wasn't intending to do another video on the Radia Code 101 for a while but I looked online today and in the developers group that I'm a member of for the Radia Code I noticed that there was a major software and firmware update. Now I have a list here of all the changes and all the things that have been added. Um, I think the biggest one is that they have now put the spectrum analysis uh, onto the PC application. So you're now able to identify the isotopes um, on the PC and we're gonna do that. We're gonna update the PC. We're on, on gonna update the device and we're gonna update the phone as well. Now they've, they've also made the Bluetooth performance better. There's a few people that had older uh, Android devices were having problems that the Bluetooth would sort of go to sleep and then there'd be a connection issue that they couldn't get the device reconnected. It was just the device was turning itself on and off by itself. Just weird things like that. So they fixed all of that as well. Um, they've got diagnostic messages which are saved in the log file. Um, it says iOS as well, which is interesting. Bluetooth performance for iOS. So there's obviously something coming there very, very soon, which is interesting. Um, there is widgets now, so you can actually put widgets onto the home screen. So we're going to do that as well. We're going to add those on, see what those look like. Uh, you can reset the dose accumulation, uh, dose accumulation in the device itself on this. Um, save date, added spectrum information, new application on the PC. New fully fledged work with Spectre. Almost everything of the Android application was transferred to the PC. So everything that was basically on the phone application is now on the PC application, which is amazing. Really, really good. Yep, Spectre library added. Um, you can overlay background graph on the Spectrum graph. Uh, add a display of isotopes on the Spectrum graph. You've got an isotope library and you can connect your own isotope library as well. Added window for viewing the spectra from the library. Um, you can now amplify the filter. Um, added the ability to display spectrum graphs as a broken line inside of a histogram. Added the ability to restart dose accumulation by the device. So yeah, quite a lot of updates. And that's what I love about the Rally Code that they are actively putting out update after update after update for it, which is fantastic and make it a much more, now it's already a really, really good usable device, but uh, the fact that they keep doing this is it's really good to see. Uh, okay, well, the first thing I think I should do is I will see if there's a software update available for the phone. Uh, so we'll update the phone first, then we'll update the device, then we will update the PC software here on my laptop, and then we'll see what everything looks like. So a quick jump cut while I get all that sorted out. Okay, so I'm in the Google Play Store on my phone, and we have the Radio Code app there, 2.3 2 megabits. App widgets have been added. Added ability to export log data CSV file. Added ability to reset the dose accumulation by device. And this is firmware version 1.19. Okay. Uh, implemented a universal for iOS and Android method to identify the device when establishing a Bluetooth connection. Okay, so I read about this as well in the group. Once I update this, the, the phone will forget the radio code and I'll have to reestablish the connection, but that's no problem, we can do that. Okay, so if I update that app, um, I've got a couple of system updates as well, but I'll do them off camera. That's the update now. I have very, very quick internet, so that's the update already downloaded, and that's it already installed. So I will do these other two off camera, and uh, then we will update the firmware on this using the phone itself. Okay, so I've opened the Radio Code app. Okay, and uh, it's version 1.03, it is telling me here. So if I go up to and go to devices, okay, I currently have it set to USB. So I will plug that end in there and this end in here. Okay, there it is there. Okay, and there we go. Immediately it has come up saying that there is an update from, so there's 1.18 on this and it wants to update to version 1.19. Yes. Okay. Now, from my experience, this does not take very, very long. Um, I will show it obviously in real time here. And there's it downloading the update. 
and the device screen has gone blank. So there we go. There is the device updated. It's already powered itself back on again. So what I will do now is I'll disconnect it from here and here. And then what I will do is I will swap back to Bluetooth. And there's find it there. Hit that, hit okay. And now we are connected via Bluetooth. Very, very quick and easy. That was all done in real time. There was no cuts, anything like that there. It's all completely done in real time. And there's the update done. Very, very quick, very, very painless. Uh, yeah, that was really, really good. Right, okay. We will do the laptop now and we'll have a look at what this new Spectrum library looks like. And then I'll have a little play of the widgets. So once we do this, we'll come back and have a look what the widgets look like. So a little jump cut while I get the laptop Here set up. Here is the current um, software on my laptop. Uh, now generally you go up to help, you go check for updates and it'll tell you then where to check. So if I click check now, check for updates. Okay, so the version that is currently on the laptop is version 1.00.18 and the latest available version is 1.01.00. .01 .00. So I am going to open the Radio Code download page. And there it is there. I'm going to install that. That is already installed. As I say, I have very quick internet, which I'm very lucky to have here. Um, I'm on a fiber connection. So I will open that. And I'll close this. Okay, I accept the terms, yes. Transfer the working environment. Install. Okay, that is now installed. So there it is there. So I currently have this version open. So I am going to open this version. Very quick jump cut there. I had to close the original version and uh, and then open this. It already looks completely different. I can, <laughs> I can see it already that it looks different. And, oh, that's interesting. There's the library. Okay, right, let me see what I'll do now. I'm gonna connect up the radio code and I'll turn this around a bit so it's a wee bit easier to see and I'll zoom in as well. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, I don't know what these are. It's giving me something called a CRC error. Now, I don't know if those are, if that's just normal, if that's, sort of a normal thing. I've never seen that before. Everything up here says it's fine. Um, oh, that's very, very good. Yep, yeah, so it's got a full spectrum library now. Before, it never had this. Um, it's even showing me X-ray as well. Okay. I'm trying to remember what this was. Um what this library is and I cannot remember what it was. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what this actually was that I had tested before. But it's, um, yeah, it's got a full library anyway, which is really, really good. Nice cool bit of Cobalt 60 there. Um, let me see, we've got Amarissium 241 and we've got Cobalt in there as well. I'm wondering if this was the test I did on the Trinitite. It could well have been the leftover from my Trinitite experiment, possibly. Um, but I can restart this. So it's restarting the spectrum accumulation now. And see there already, bang. X-rays. Radium-226 popping in there. 
yeah, it's awesome to see this. Now, the, the, the errors are, are they're still going, as you can see there. I, I, I have a funny feeling this is just completely normal. There are little fluctuations um, because the device is working fine here. Okay, so it's giving me dose rates, um, the count rate in counts per second. Um, it's giving me a dose rate. Must be a nano sieverts. Okay, so interestingly, it's in nano sieverts until it goes above one microsievert. Once it goes above or hits one microsievert and goes above, it uh, automatically changes to microsievert. But it's nano sievert before that. So when it's very low level, it actually has it on nano sievert, which is very, very interesting to see. I've never seen that before on any device. Um, so you see we've already accumulated 40 nano sieverts uh, on the dose, and the dose has been running for five minutes. I've got the sound turned off, but I'll turn it on. So I just got a little bit of pitch blend here. And I'll just show you as it drops down, you see the way it's dropped down now to nano sievert again? So if I put that back, It bounces back up into microsievert. I'm only getting about two microsievert there. It's quite low level, this pitch blend. There's a little, just a very small test source that I have. Okay, I restarted the graph there. Just to see in the spectrum library what it would show me here for the uh, the pitch blend. Yeah, well, there's radium, 226. Cesium-137. Americium is quite high here. I do have a few sources in here of americium, so... Uranium-235. To be expected. So, yeah, really impressed with this. Very, very impressed. Uh, this has made this uh, so much more usable. Well done, yeah, <laughs> to the developers of this. Well done, you have um, you've really excelled yourself with this one. Right, okay, let's take a look at the widgets. So to get widgets in Android phone, this Android phone anyway, you hold your finger on it, widgets. So let's see where they are. Where does it appear? It's quite low. There it is there. Okay, what have we got? We have Spectrum. We have basic display and we have the actual display of the device. So we'll add all of them. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so we'll move that up here somewhere. Um, let's add something else. Let's add the device screen. Okay. Let me add that up there. Uh, that's that's really cool. I'm gonna put it over here. And I've noticed the widget takes a few. It doesn't update update straight away. There's a little bit of a delay. Little bit of a delay. But I'm guessing that if you wanted to have, to be able to get counts per second on it, you would be using this and then you would have this as well. So you, you could flick between the two. I think if I was going to have anything on my screen, I would probably have this one here. But we will add the um, spectrum as well, just because it's there and we might as well look at it. Okay, let's add the spectrum up in there like that. You can probably notice I have the Gamma Guard up. Well, there's a new Geiger counter I've got. There will be a review of that coming soon. So there's the Spectrum in there. Let me see if I can clip my finger on it. Does it make it? Oh, it does make it bigger. Look at that. So you can have a massive Spectrum. There's your background, the green. And then there's the... Uh... That's pretty cool. I like that. 
now we, oh, we can go pop right back into the app. But that's pretty nice. It's really nice that they've added this feature. I'm gonna move that up to there. Just so it fills the screen. Yeah, that's really cool. I love that. I absolutely love that. That has, um, that's a really worthwhile update. That's a really worthwhile update. I think anybody who has this device that hasn't got this update on your phone yet or on your PC, laptop, or on the, the actual radio code itself, get it installed because it's, uh, it's absolutely fantastic. So I'm gonna play with this a bit and uh, see if I can find any uh, issues that I can get back to the developers with. Um, but so far, so good. That was a very, very painless process. The install was perfect. Um, download is perfect um, and then the installation of all the devices was perfect absolutely fantastic okay well listen folks as always thank you very very much for watching and uh, I'll see you all again next time bye bye